Okay, fellow golfers, as promised, I'm going to do two very important clips coming up. The first one is on 10 key shots, and I'll go into a little bit of detail of each of the 10 that you ought to have in your armory, whether it's for a competition, whether it's to improve ones that you already have. The first is a safe driver shot from the tee that gets you every time onto the fairway. And here are some of the key elements. You want to be coming out relatively low and relatively straight. Take your driver, go at least two or three inches down on the grip. Tee the ball, not in line with your front heel, but a, a couple of inches behind that. So just beyond center, between the center and the left heel. When you come down on the ball, you may want to take a slightly smaller backswing. So not that full backswing, because you're not trying to whack it out. You're trying to take a much more controlled swing, slower control swing, and a shorter back swing. When you come down, you want to feel that you are over the ball and your eyes are looking at the ball. So you want to be coming nice and easy down onto the ball. And you want to come down at the ball and swing through impact. And then you want your back shoulder in my case, the left shoulder, to be pointing to the target. The second is an approach shot or a shot from deep rough back onto the fairway. Take your most lofted club, go down on the grip one, one and a half inches. You want to be hitting directly at the ball, so you want to try to avoid and minimize getting too much grass or hitting behind the ball too much. And you want a much steeper, steeper backswing and a steeper downswing. So a steeper movement and you are coming down. You're going to try to hit the ball, not the grass behind the ball. The third is an approach shot or shot from light rough or from the fairway. You want a nice, easy, smooth movement. Go down on the grip, take one club longer than you would normally do for that distance. So let's say your distance is 150 yards. Usually you hit that with your seven iron. So take a six iron. Grip down, you're talking about a three quarter shot, shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder means you are, your hands go up to your one shoulder and down and through to the other shoulder. Shoulder is, that's as far as you do the backswing. And then your follow through similarly is only as far as your shoulder. So it's shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. The fourth is from rough around the green. Then the, the shot that involves a green side bunker. You want to have the face slightly open. Don't forget with a bunker shot you are trying to hit about one to two inches behind the ball. You won't think of it as a splash shot. You'll have seen other tips about imagining throwing sand onto the green. It's a much steeper up and splash up and splash. Your weight is all on your front foot. The ball is aligned to your heel of the front foot. Dig your feet into the sand and you're doing a nice little splash shot. Nice little splash shot. Splash shot. What's very important is that your club should, club head, should be shoulder level by the time you come through. So don't hold it, you'll keep it too short or you'll 
won't get enough sand out of out of the greenside bunker. You want to have that quick hinge and a speedy follow through so that your face is shoulder level at the finish. So a nice little splash. That speed and follow through is critical. And then a key shot that is in and around the green. So that short shot. For that, for this shot, the ball should be roughly in the center of your stance. So that pendulum stroke for that short chip, nice reliable short chip. And then makeable putts. You'll have seen several tips I've given on putting, so I won't repeat too much. I'm just going to mimic the putter here. You want to be keeping your front eye either roughly over the ball or just behind it, center of your stance. Remember, no lower body, no lower body movement. Remember some of the tips to help you try that. You could try it with your feet crossed over so you learn to do that. You can try, you may want to try the claw grip which many have adopted like Tommy Fleetwood with great effect to make sure that they're just holding the club with their dominant hand. They're not using it to turn. It's the front arm that is doing the work and you're keeping it square. Trace the line along as you putt along the line that you've aimed and your direction. Once you've got your direction right, set that up square to the direction, trace it along that direction. Don't be tempted to look up. Hold the finish and then look up. Hold the finish and then look up. And then that punch shot setup is again key, ball towards the back of your foot. Your weight on your front foot. You want to go well down on the grip and you want to swing a lot. You want to have your Stand slightly open, you want to swing along the line of your feet. And a nice punch shot. So a nice punch shot that goes low and rolls. And following that, a half weight shot. Put your hands well down the grip, almost at the shaft. You want the ball center of your stance. You want to Open your body slightly, go make your swing shoulder to shoulder to avoid, and that will help you avoid trying to scoop the ball. And then finally, long range putting. Done a lot of clips and tips on long range putting, including lag putting. But one key technique is, let's say I'm putting from here, the whole, and and the ball is quite far away, 40 feet. I'll go halfway and then I will draw a triangle in my mind, take a look at what the slope is doing so that I'm working out the direction and the slopes and also the speed in my mind. And then I go back and do my putt along the line of the target that I have picked out in the distance. So if you have those 10 key shots in your armory, you will significantly improve your game, make it consistent and reliable, and be able to have some very good scores. Take a look at tips and drills that I've done for many of these. I'll put a few links up above and at the end of the clip and I will be doing some more. The next clip on golf moves is going to be a critical piece of this that really looks at the difference between pros and amateurs and some of the key moves that are different but that are easy to emulate if you work on them. Happy golfing. See you on the flip side.